Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening Isidro. Teacher. How are you? How are you, Carmen? Good evening. Fine. Thank you. Great, Isidro. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome to your class. Is everybody ready? Yes, ready. Okay, great. I'm going to pull the roll to start, okay? Remember that you have to turn on your cameras and when you hear your name, you please say present. Okay. All right? Okay. Alma Verónica Castro de Serrano. Aníbal Osmar Hernández Murcia. Present teacher. Georgina Beatriz Aldaña de Guzmán. Germán Enrique González Valeriano. Present teacher. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales Present okay. Isidro Ernesto Costa Maldonado Present teacher José Arnoldo Sánchez Lemos Present teacher José Ulises Anaya Cortés Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Karina Elizabeth Hernández Gómez. Katherine Stephanie Santos Granados. Kelly Maricela Díaz Lozano. Manuel Edilberto. García Meléndez. Present. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Present. Rebeca Claribel Bonilla Escobar. Present. Ok. Rolando José Romero Castro. Present. Wendy Lizette Gómez García. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. Okay. Jensi Dinora Canales Reyes. Present teacher. Carmen Inés Montes de Fermán. Present teacher. Lady Olivet Cruz Guzmán. Okay. Henry Vladimir Ramirez Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, there we are, guys. I see Karina said hello. So Karina Elizabeth Hernandez Gomez, right? Okay. Yes. Wendy Lisette. There you are. Present. Okay. 
I think everybody is already checked. Okay, then we are going to start a class tonight by um, continuing and finishing the topic from yesterday, the how much and how many, okay? And we were talking about money. You remember? We were talking about money. Yeah. Okay, we're going to start with that. So one second. Just let me check something. Here we go. Okay. Uh, this is our video conference number five. Okay. And we are going to have this review and practice. Let's remember that we were talking about money, right? And uh, our agenda for tonight is that we are going to present our objective. Then we are going to uh, have a feedback. Then we are going to talk about the work activities or um, activities related to our work, okay? And our unit is work-related events. Remember, work-related activities, okay? So we're gonna talk about money and work perks. Then we're gonna see some simple present negative statements, how to use the negative form in the simple present. And then we are listening and speaking uh, something about in a practice. And we have our breakout rooms also. And then we are going to have our session one on one. Okay. Um, the objective for tonight is that you will you you are going to be able to practice simple present to describe routines, okay, or things that you do every day at work. Let's remember that uh, that's the first topic we studied, okay? So let's start by the how much and how many, our feedback, okay? Our feedback. Recordemos entonces, let's remind or let's recall the use of how much, okay? The use of how much. This is the way to ask for the price, okay? When you are asking for the price of something, then you use these questions. How much is it? How much is it? It's 150, okay? And in a formal way, we will say it's $1.50, okay? How much is it? It's $1.50, okay? Let's think about a computer. Oh. How much is this computer? How much is this computer? Mm, it's $700, okay? It's $700. Fijémonos en la manera de contestar, okay? Then, how much is that jacket? How much is that jacket? Ah, we are talking about something that it is not near to us, okay? It's kind of far away from us. Maybe it's in front of us or maybe it's hanging on a hook. We don't know, right? But we are just pointing at that jacket, that jacket. This, 
this pencil, this computer, this. It's near, okay? It's near me. So let's try. Let's try. Vamos a ver uh, el primer cuadrito. Uh, Aníbal and Henry Alberto. Oh. El primer How much cuadrito. Is, you wrote it. It is. It is $1.50. ¿Sí me escucho? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Aníbal and Henry Alberto, please. Role play the first conversation. It's oh. a short conversation. Mm -hmm. Oh, repeat. Oh. Hey. <clears throat> Henry Alberto, how much it is? No, how much is it? What is it? It's oh, one dollar. Oh, sorry. How, how much, much it is? No, no. Is it? Is it? Is oh. it? Al revés, la oh. pronunciación. Oh. Okay. Yeah. How yeah. much How is much it? It is. Ah, uh, is is it? Así. Correct. How, How much is, is, is it? Así. How much oh. is it? Primero va oh. is oh. y después oh. va it. Oh, per oh, sorry. Okay. Is it? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. How much is? It? How much is it? It's. It's one dollar and fifty cents. Excellent. It's, it's very cheap. one dollar and fifty cents. It's very cheap. Yeah, it's very cheap. Unless it's only a pen, right? <laughs> Imagine a pen, one dollar and fifty. I don't think it is going to be cheap, right? Maybe that is that is expensive. Yeah, because we pay only a quarter, right? <laughs> yeah, for a pen. Okay. I sell, I sell a, a paper clip. One paper clip. One paper clip for one dollar and fifty cents. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's expensive. Okay, now vamos a ver, vamos a repetir esta misma pregunta. Okay, la del, del que está como naranjadito. Isidro en José Arnoldo. Isidro A, José Arnoldo B. All right. How much is it? Sería it is. One dollar, one fifty cent. Yes, one dollar and fifty cents. Very good. Again, Jose Arnoldo. It's repeat one dollar and fifty cents. Dollar and fifty cents. Yes. A ver, no tengan miedo. Ustedes abran la boca lo más que puedan para pronunciar, ¿ok? Para poder hablar, ¿qué es lo que tenemos que Teacher. hacer? Uh -huh. Tell me. Aníbal. Eh, ser, este, de, debería, de, sería entonces, how much? Easy. Easy. Yes. yes. So, no, porque si digo, is it, es is correct. Ah, the pronunciation. Or, 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 easy. It's correct. I don't understand exactly oh, the difference. Uh, ah, but, oh, how much is it? It's correct. Oh, the intonation, the intonation. Okay, you can say, how much is it? Okay, how much is it? Is it? Is okay. it? Oh, is it? Oh. Mm -hmm. Eso sería it, como la entonación. How, it, much it? Oh. How much is it? Perfect. How much is it? Okay. Yeah, oh. that's the intonation. Okay, yes. Oh. Um, no. Pero siempre va Thanks. is it. Okay, no is, it is. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is it. Okay. Acordémonos okay. que es pregunta. Okay, bien. Okay. Para hablar tenemos que abrir la boca, ¿verdad? Así que abramos bien la boca. Carmen en Karina. Carmen A, Karina B. Karina Elizabeth, go ahead. Okay. How much is it? It's $1.50. Uh, it's 
Okay, 50 cents. 55 serían 55, ¿verdad? Ah, 50 cents. Yes, 50 cents. Exactly. Thank you very much. Marianne and uh, Henry Ramirez. Hello. How much is that jersey? It's $700. Okay, it's a very expensive jacket, right? <laughs> okay, great. Ahí me combinaron ustedes las dos conversaciones. Vamos a ver. Comencemos por la más fácil. La más fácil es how much is it? Okay. Esa es como cuánto cuesta. Okay. How much is it? Esta, esta naranjadita. De regreso, Mariana and Henry. Okay. How much is it? It's $1.50. Great, we can say that. We can say $1.50 or $1.50. In a formal way, we say $1.50. Okay? Okay. There you go. So now let's listen to Herman and Jensi. Herman A, Jensi B. Okay, Excuse me, sorry. But, uh, how much is it? It is one dollar sixty cent. Very good. Thank you very much. Veamos entonces la siguiente en el cuadrito amarillo. How much is this computer? Manuel Edibel, El Dilberto, perdón. And um, let me check here. We have Rebecca Claribel. The answer is it's $700, okay? So go ahead, please. Manuel and Rebecca. Um, it is $700. Okay, Manuel, can you repeat it? How much is this computer? Okay, vamos a decirlo juntos. How much is this computer? How much is this computer? How much is this computer? Okay, great. How much is this computer? And uh, the answer again, please. It's $700. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Okay, there you go. So, veamos la siguiente pregunta. How much is that jacket? How much is that jacket? And the answer is, it's $95.99. Okay, so let's start with Catherine, letter A, and Ulysses, letter B, the green box. Great teacher. How much is the jacket? You see it. Nineteen ninety five dollars and ninety nine cents. Very good. Lo único que acá decimos it's or it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, no lo decimos como en forma de pregunta, sino que ya en forma de respuesta. It is or it's, right? It. It's. Mm -hmm. It's $95.99. Okay, there you go. Is there any question so far about asking for the price? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta acerca de cómo preguntar el precio? Okay. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Verdad que podemos usar como aparecía en la conversación anterior, en la conversación anterior que era around más, por si no sabemos el precio exacto. Exactly. Si no sabemos el precio exacto, podríamos decir around. Uh -huh. Ajá, uh, around. Calculating the price, right? It's not exact, but it's about an amount. Yes, you can say around $95 or something like that. Okay, yes. You can say around. Okay. Fijémonos acá que esto es para singular. Es cuando estamos hablando de un solo objeto. Miren, estamos hablando de this computer. Estamos hablando de that jacket. 
only one object. So this is the way to ask for a singular form, okay? For a sing singular object, only one. Veamos cómo preguntamos entonces por varios objetos, okay? How do we ask for more objects, okay? Esto se nos quedó del día de ayer, ok? Así que vamos finalizando eh, el, todavía el tema de how much and how many, ok? How much are these? How much are these? Ah, verdad que aquí hay una palabra bien bonita que nos podría confundir, verdad? These, these, the pronunciation is e, these, ok? These. Ahora voy a regresar. Para que veamos que este no es this, ok? Este es this, ok? Es kind of short, this, ok? This and these, 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 estos, ok? Near you. How much are these? Ah, aquí puedo yo decir they are, en vez de it's, ¿verdad? Porque ya no es solo un objeto. Voy a decir... They are twelve dollars and ninety cents each. Nineteen cents each. Each. Mm -hmm. Each, in este caso, nos indica cada objeto, ¿verdad? Cada uno. Yes. Okay. How much are these? They are twelve dollars and ninety cents each. Okay. Estamos en el plural, cuando son más de un objeto, para preguntar el precio, nada más, ¿ok? This is just asking for the price. How much are those shoes? How much are those shoes? How much are those shoes? Uh -huh. Those es cuando no están cerca, son esos. Esos, esos. ¿Ok? How much are those shoes? Ajá, ¿cómo sería esta cantidad? They are, or they are, $110. Okay, $110. Veamos la siguiente. Beautiful sunglasses, how much are they? Beautiful sunglasses, how much are they? They are, or they are, $50. They are, $50. Ok. Vamos a ver entonces. The first conversation. Georgina en Rolando, the first one, please. Hey, teacher. Yes, please. Ok. How much are these? They twelve dollars and ninety cent each. Very good. Then how mm -hmm. much? Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Now the next one, Wendy Maricela and Kelly Maricel. Oh, I, I remember that Kelly is having some trouble. Okay. So Alma, Alma and Wendy Maricela. Uh, Wendy. <laughs> Yes. How much are these? El amarillo. El amarillo. Okay. How much, Wendy, how much are those shoes? Hello, Wendy. Can you hear me? Wendy, Maristela, are you there? Wendy Maricela. Okay, you may ask Aníbal, okay? Go ahead, okay. please, Alma. Repeat. Aníbal, how much are those shoes? They are $110. Okay, $110. And okay, $110. There you are. Thank you very much, guys. Now let's listen to Carmen and let's see. Carmen and Rebecca again, please. Okay, beautiful sunglasses. 
Okay. Beautiful sunglasses. How much are they? They are ten, fifteen dollars. Fifty. Say it with me. They are fifty. Uh huh. Fifty. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, this is the way to ask for the price. Okay, this is the way to ask for the price. Now let's think about some words, okay, that can help us, okay? These are some words that, that can help us. Do you know what are the bills? Oh, I forgot my... Okay. Mm -hmm. Este es un vocabulario que usamos con el dinero, okay? Los billetes, the bills, billetes. coins. Coin. What Monedas. is coins? Monedas. Monedas. Yes, Monedas. checks. Coras. Coras. Oh, yeah. <laughs> checks. <laughs> Do you know what checks is? <laughs> checks. Okay. Oh. Checks. It's the paper. Yeah, the paper. Oh. So, savings. Savings. Ahorro. Uh -huh. Yes, ahorros. Piggy bank. El cuchito. Ento. Cuchito. Very empty. Yes, el cuchito. Forever uh -huh. empty. <laughs> Forever empty. Okay. Need money. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Was it Juan Francisco? No, I don't know who. Oh. Okay, welcome. So, uh, piggy bank, el cuchito. Alcancía. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Right. Alcancía. Bonus. What is bonus? Bono. Yes. Uh, bonus. Can you say that in some English words? Extra money, right? Extra money that you receive. Okay. Uh, maybe for... Um, Achieving goals, okay, maybe for sales, okay, then you get a goal, okay, monthly goals, or maybe for Christmas, you receive an extra amount of money, okay, that's a bonus. So let's see, salary, do you know what salary is? Salario. Yes, salary is the money that you receive for your work. Okay, that you receive for your work. ATM, what is a, an ATM? Es el cajero automático. Cajero automático. Hey, cajero automático. Okay, can you try to say that in English? ATM. Okay, ATM, yeah, it's a machine, right? It's a machine ATM. where you can withdraw ATM. money, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. You can withdraw money, okay? Or cash, cash, right? Cash. Cash is the money that you have on paper or on bills or on coins, okay? Uh, let's continue. Deposit. 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 Okay, yes. It's money that you take to the bank, to an account, okay? You put your money in an account or a bank account okay and the the last one remittance remittance this is money that they send you uh from a foreign country okay or also it's like a deposit too okay remes yeah remittance yes remittance Yesterday, we were talking about the currency, right? The currency. And we said that it was dollar, colon, and Bitcoin. Well, in Europe, there, there are uh, euros, right? <clears throat> euros, euros. So, um, well, cash, dinero en efectivo, right? Change, el vuelto, okay? Change, el vuelto. Yeah, you have to wait for the change when it's not um, the exact amount that you gave, right? You gave a bill and then you expect for your change. Okay, then. Then we have some verbs related to money. Earn, ganar el dinero. 
Make, ganar dinero o hacer dinero. Spend, gastar el dinero. Find, encontrarse el dinero o encontrar el dinero. Inherit, heredar el dinero. Borrow, borrow. Borrow es prestar dinero. Okay? Prestar dinero. Wow. Lend, lend. Lend también es prestar dinero. Okay? No. Lose, lose, no. yeah. Lose is that you wasted that money because you don't know where you put that money. Okay? Invest. ¿Qué significará invest? Do you have any idea? <coughs> invest. Invertir. Eh, invertir. Yes, there you are. Invertir. Save. Eh, no. Ahorrar, no. yes. Get. Obtener. Conseguir, obtener, yes. And waste. Oh. Desperdiciar, ok. Desperdiciar, botar el dinero. Ok. I will stop sharing, ok. Uh, porque vamos a irnos a hacer un pequeño ejercicio, ok. Y en este ejercicio lo que tenemos que hacer es poner el verbo correspondiente en perdón en cada oración solo déjenme ubicarlo acá para que les quede cabalito ok aquí está vamos a poner el verbo que corresponde ustedes me ayudan y yo lo voy a llevar para allá ok solo son siete no vamos a hacer las otras ok Va, vamos a ver Okay, aquí está. We are still talking about money. Okay. So let's read. I look for a job because I need to. A ver, está un poco cortada la imagen, ¿verdad? Here we go. Tenemos acá diferentes. Spend, decíamos que es ganar dinero. Inherits es heredar. Buy es comprar. Make, ganar o hacer dinero. Earn, ganar dinero por un trabajo, ¿verdad? O un negocio. Borrow, prestar. Ok. Save. Es save. Acá. Está como un poco F por ahí. And land and find. Okay. I look for a job because I need to money. ¿Qué verbo le quedaría bien por ahí? Para que suene Earn. esa. Earn. Earn money. Okay. Veamos. Vamos a ver number two. I struggle. Struggle es como muy dificultoso. O sea, yo me las veo de a palitos. I struggle. Okay. I struggle to money when I don't have customers. When I don't have customers. ¿Qué verbo podría ser por acá? Borrow. 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 I struggle to borrow. Mm, creo que no sería borrow. Borrow Wessel. es prestar. Waste. Mm, Waste. Es desperdiciar. May. Ajá. Suena mejor, ¿verdad? To make money. I struggle to make money. Ah, suena mucho mejor. Así como que me las veo difíciles para hacer el dinero, ¿verdad? Cuando yo no tengo clientes, right? Number three. Ah, inherits. Inherits, yeah. Okay, it's easy. Yes, with the letter S, because it's a third person, remember? Inherit money. Okay, number four. Finds. 
Ah, ok, no. ajá. She finds. Y como tiene letra S, estaba como un poco más fácil, ¿verdad? Ok. She finds sí, sí. money on the floor near the ATM. Ok, she's lucky. <laughs> yeah, she's lucky. Number five. They borrow. Uh, exactly. Borrow or say. Or say. Uh, mire, como aquí tenemos from the bank, ¿verdad? Eh, ya si dijéramos save in the bank, fuera diferente. Pero borrow from the bank. Pedir prestado, ¿verdad? Pedir prestado al uh -huh. banco. Del banco. ¿Ok? They borrow money from the bank to buy a house. Okay, great. Number six. Spend. It sounds good, right? Gastar. Ellos gastan. They spend money only when they really need to. Maybe they are... <laughs> Wait. Is it someone here telling something? Buy. Okay, Arnoldo. Buy. But try to reconnect as soon as you can, okay? If that happens. Number seven, number seven. Bye. Bye. You waste. You waste. waste. Yes, oh. waste. Tu desperdicias el dinero, right? Oh. Buying non-essentials. Oh. Non-essentials. Okay, very good. No vamos a hacer ocho y nueve. Okay, nos vamos a ir al manual. Okay. Let's remember the conversation we were practicing about uh, the work perks and um, the financial information that you're talking. Remember Beth and Je Ben and Jeff, I'm sorry, Ben and Jeff. And that you're talking and using how much and how many. So let's go over there, okay? That's on page 16. Yeah. Yes. Okay, here we go. Let's read the conversa conversation only once, okay? Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben, well, I've, I've worked five days a week and you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really, on Saturdays, do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, they work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay. Vamos a ver, solamente un roleplay para recordar un poquito quién quiere participar. Vamos a ver, levante su mano, dígame yo. Ok, Herman and Herman and Wendy, go ahead. Herman, Ben, okay. Wendy, Jeff. Ok. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a weekend do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week and you. That's great. I work for, for weekday and something on Saturday. Friday and Saturday we work extra hard and some money. How much money do they pay for each extra hard? Yes, I work I work extra hour when there is too much work to do. It's extra hour is around 
ten dollars. I see well sometimes there is no move. Come right. Absolutely. Okay, thank you very much. So now let's go scrolling down here. Okay. And I want you to notice how to use how many and how much. This is just to uh, complete this uh, topic. How many is for countable nouns like hours, days, weeks, years, etc. Okay. Veamos los ejemplos que tenemos acá. Let's look at the examples. Can you read the examples, please, Henry Ramirez? One and two. Okay. How many days a week do you rest? How many hours a day do you work? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. How do we un answer these questions? How do we answer these questions? How many days a week do you rest? How many uh, days a week do you rest? Let's think. Isidro, how many days a week do you rest? One day, teacher. One day? Only 24 hours? Yes. Okay. 24 hours. Thank you very much, Isidro. Ahora, armemos la oración completa. I rest mm -hmm. one day. I rest one, one day, day a week. A week. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. Este de rest lo podemos decir como day off. Okay. Entonces, I have one day off a week. Okay. Lo van a encontrar más como day off, el día de su descanso. Okay. Bien, Herman, tell me. Hi. Tell me. Uh, I, I have. Uh, do you have two days okay then i have two days off okay a week very good mm -hmm. we can separate this and say days a week off but it will be later okay so um number two how many hours a day do you work how many hours a day do you work well, by law, I think it is eight hours, right? I work mm -hmm. eight hours from Monday to Friday. And Saturday, I work four hours. Do you work on Mondays? Uh, on Friday and Saturday, four hours. Okay. Very good answer. That's a very good answer. Okay. So, yes, this is the way to answer this question. Okay. Did I say? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I insisted on Sunday, right? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is on. Saturday. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Four hours mean fr means from eight to twelve. Is it? From eight to twelve, teacher, I think. Teacher, tell me. Who do you say? Un día y medio. Uh, one and a half day. Okay, one and a half day. Okay. Um, Second, let me give you like this, like this, one and a half day, okay? One and a half day. Mm -hmm. Puede pasar day para allá primero y decir one day and a half, okay? Y estaríamos diciendo igual, okay? Thank you. Tell me. Uh, here is rain. Excuse me, can you repeat that? 
Uh, here is raining. Oh, okay. So, are you having trouble with the connection? Uh, only. How do you say? Ruido. Interference. Okay. okay. Yeah, the sound, the sound of the raining. Okay, no problem, no problem. Uh, but we cannot hear it. We cannot hear the the sound of the rain here. Okay, veamos entonces con how much, but don't worry, how much, how much. How much is a phrase we use for uncountable nouns like money, time, and others, right? How much money do they pay per extra hour? How much money do they pay per extra hour? Number two, how much time do we have? How much time do we have? Okay, vamos a ver. Isidro, can you read these two examples, please? Yes, teacher. How, mo how much money do they pay per extra hour? How much time do we have? Thank you very much. Ahora, ¿cómo okay, contestamos teacher. eso? How do we answer these questions? How do we answer these questions? How much money do they pay per extra hour? Armemos la oración completa. Yeah, don't pay extra hour for oh, money. They don't pay. Money. Only they don't pay. Pay time for day off. Oh, they compensate. Okay. They compensate. Oops. They, <laughs> they compensate with days of or time off. Okay, time off. Porque puede ser por horas también, supongo, no? Okay. Yeah. okay, time off. Time off could be a complete day, a midday, or a half of a day, or maybe just hours. Okay, maybe you can arrive, work, later, maybe two hours later, right? Or maybe you can leave work two hours earlier, okay? Yeah, that's a very good uh, way of payment. So let's see, how much time, uh, bueno, si les pagaran horas extras, ¿cómo sería la respuesta? They, they pay, pay for, they pay, they pay for six dollars for this hour. Uh -huh. They pay ten dollars for extra hour. Okay, per extra hour. Oh. Okay, very good. So yes, this is the way. And remember to Siempre acuérdense de armar una oración para que se les haga fácil contestar, ¿ok? Siempre, sujeto, verbo y complemento, always, ¿ok? Siempre nos afecta mucho los videos, no sé si ustedes han visto videos que dicen Stop saying this, oh, stop saying goodbye, stop saying I'm fine, stop saying... Pero eso es lo básico, o sea, ¿cómo lo podemos dejar de decir? No se puede dejar de decir, ¿verdad? Si quiero enriquecer mi vocabulario, lo voy a enriquecer con un lenguaje con cultura, no con slangs, ¿verdad? No con lenguaje de la calle, ¿sí? Entonces muchas veces nos afectan esos videos y queremos decir, ay, es que este inglés como muy de libro. No, ese es el inglés normal, <ríe> ¿ok? Pero hay mucho slang por las redes sociales ahora y queremos nosotros llegar a eso, pero primero pasemos por esto, ¿ok? Primero pasemos por esto para que se nos haga fácil el, el slang, ¿ok? Bien, vamos a ver entonces. Uh, is there any questions so far? Pregunta, oh. uh -huh. tell me. No, no, uh, when, when you spare and for. 
When do we use what? The per, uh, for example, they pay ten dollars per hour. Per. Per instead of four or versus four. Okay. Four is como por, pero la preposición tiene también otros usos. Okay. Este per lo que nos indica es como una eh, partición. Okay. Como una individualidad. Okay. Per. Per. Ahora, y, y siempre es por. Okay. Siempre es por. Eh, la otra preposición por es por y es para, ok, es por y es para, entonces si pusiéramos aquí por extra hour, dijera como para hora extra, en lugar de estar diciendo por hora extra, ok, entonces en este caso hay que aprender no en, no en sí la palabrita, ok, separada, aquí hay que aprender la frase per extra hour, ok, per extra hour. When you are talking about extra hours, say per extra hour, okay? Teacher, Tell me. can I say, can I say, uh, they pay $20 per employee? I can barely hear you. There is a lot of interference. Uh, you said something about $20? Uh, they pay twenty dollars per uh, employee. Uh, empleado. Como per que, capita, uh, right? <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Uh, por ejemplo, por ejemplo que, eh, que tenga varias personas que trabajan así como servicios varios y entonces no tienen como puesto de trabajo, decir eh, que ellos le pagan veinte dólares a cada a cada. Uh, podría decir per o en ese caso eh, suena más otra frase porque um, como que estuviera vendiendo al empleado siento yo si es que he entendido bien su oración a ver permítame déjenme escribirla para ubicarme su pregunta ok they pay ajá uh -huh. $20. Mm -hmm. O por ejemplo, si, por ejemplo, si, eh, si hablamos de soccer, eh, per gol. Por goles, por cada gol. Ajá, ajá. Oh, sí, usted puede Feliz decir goal. así. Per goal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sí, claro que puede decir así. Claro que puede decir así. El del empleado, si no le comprendí, ¿qué es lo que me quiere decir? Ah, es que como, como por ejemplo que tenga varios empleados y de servicios, digamos, que, que no tienen puestos, son informales, digamos. Entonces, el día, el se, le paga, se le paga 20 dólares por, por persona. Por ejemplo, cuando van a las elecciones, a veces le dicen, va, 20 dólares. Que, que like per person, you want to say per person or per employee? Per employee. Okay. Um, podría ser per employee, yeah, per employee, or they pay mm, to each. Suena mejor. They pay $20 to each employee. Mm -hmm. To each employee. Suena mejor que per employee. Y también. Oh, no, teacher. They pay no, entraría, no entraría la palabra journal ahí. Pe, teacher. Journaling. Uh, they pay $20 like per, this? per day. Like this? Yes. Por jornada. Ajá. Uh, y lo que me estaba preguntando él era como para cada empleado. Ah, ok. Ok, ajá. Por jornada ya sería diferente. La, sería, podríamos poner, uh, you, you, you were saying like journey, right? But no, uh, in that case, si, si decimos por jornada, ok, per work in day. Per day. Ok, teacher. per working day. Por working day. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Tell me. If, if, 
is they, for, for example, eh, the subscription, bueno, they pay $10. Uh -huh. By subscription, they will pay, bueno, bueno, pay subscription. Como por ejemplo, para decir eh, que ellos pagan $7 dólares por suscripción o algo así. Um, ok, como un fee, como un fee de suscripción. Um, uh -huh. Pero eso ya no sería they pay, ok. Eso sería que le están cobrando, ok, no que están uh -huh. pagando. Ese del otro lado, ¿verdad? En este caso podría ser you pay and they charge, ok. So they charge um, 20, I know, 10, me say, right? Ten dollars uh, per subscription. Yeah, it sounds good. It sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can use that too. Okay. No more questions? In a hotel. <laughs> Digamos, si, si, si preguntan por habitaciones, pueden usar el PER también. Se claro usa que para sí. infinidad de cosas. Per room, yeah. Per room, per night. Yes. Uh -huh. Sí, se puede utilizar. Se puede utilizar. También se puede usar el PER. Ah, puede usar ambas. ¿O ¿Cuál sería la más fuerte? Habría que ver la más? frase. Habría Ajá. que ver la frase porque como les repito, eh, FOR tiene diferentes significados. Tiene FOR y tiene PARA. ¿Verdad? Entonces, uh, ahí habría que ver qué es lo que se está diciendo acerca de, de lo que se esté diciendo, ¿ok? Por eso mi recomendación es que no nos dediquemos a ver una, una palabra, ¿ok? Veamos expresiones. Es mucho más fácil para todos aprender expresiones, ¿ok? Expresiones. Así como decíamos, in the evening, es con in, ¿verdad? Si solo vemos in, uff. Nos vamos a confundir de la misma manera ahorita con per, ¿verdad? Si vemos la frase per extra hour, que se nos grabe que así es y siempre va a ser per extra hour, ¿ok? Poco a poco ustedes van a ir encontrando otros usos, ¿ya? O otras palabras que llenen este otro significado o dependiendo de otras frases en que se use la misma expresión, ¿ok? Esa es mi recomendación. ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Clear. Is it clear? Clear like water? Or clear like horchata? Yes, it's clear. Clear, okay, like water. Or as horchata. Like water, teacher. Like water. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, people. Now we're going to continue. Okay. Nos vamos a ir a los uh, breakout rooms. Okay. Y en la página número 17, page number 17, you have an activity. Let's read the instruction here. A ver. Uh, Carmen, por favor. Carmen, please read the instructions. Uh, instructions. Read the sentences and fill in the black white money or mush. Thank you very much, Carmen. So we have to complete these sentences or statements in this case because they are questions. Do you see? They are questions. And you have to complete them with how many or how much, okay? So let's go to the breakout rooms, okay? And you are going to work. So I'm going to open the rooms and you are going to add to the room that you want, okay?
picture no va a pasar. Check it, please. It's a very good time to do that. Yes, of course. Of course, I have to. Okay. Yes, I am going to. Sí, muchas gracias. Vamos a tomar la asistencia. We are going to call the roll. Y después nos vamos al breakup room. Alma Verónica Castro de Serrano. Present. Teacher. Aníbal Osmar Hernández Murcia. Present teacher. Georgina Beatriz Aldaña de Guzmán. Present teacher. Germán Enrique González Valeriano. Present teacher. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. José Ulises Anaya Cortés. Present. Present. Ok. A ver. Voy a regresar porque esto se fue hasta abajo. Isidro Ernesto Costa Maldonado. Present, teacher. José Arnoldo Sánchez Lemos. Present, teacher. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Present, teacher. Karina Elizabeth Hernández Gómez. Yeah. Catherine Stephanie Santos Granados. Kelly Maricela Díaz Lozano. Oh, really, Catherine? Oh, ok. Está con sus datos ahorita, me imagino. Yes, yes, teacher. Oh, ok. Manuel Edilberto García Meléndez. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Present teacher. Rebeca Claribel Bonilla Escobar. Present teacher. Rolando José Romero Castro. Wendy Lisette Gómez García. Yeah. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Present. Guevara. Present teacher. Jensi Dinora Canales Reyes. Present teacher. Carmen Inés Montes de Fermán. Present teacher. Levi Olivet Cruz Guzmán. Henry Vladimir Ramírez Martínez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much, guys. So now let's go to the breakout rooms. Okay. Here we go. You are going to join to the room that you want, okay? Son cuatro salas. En las cuatro salas pongamos cinco eh, integrantes, ¿ok? Así que se adhieren a la sala que ustedes quieran. Pónganse ahí de acuerdo. ¿Cuál sala vas? Ah, pues ahí voy yo. Ok, there we go. Alma está en la sala uno. Por mí, con cualquier sala, teacher. La que usted quiera. Ahí póngase usted en la sala que usted desee. Vaya, Juan Francisco se fue a la sala dos. Quien quiera estar con Juan Francisco, muevan para la dos. Henry Alberto también está en la sala 2. Carmen Inés está en la 1 con Kelly y Alma. La sala 3 ya está llena, chicos. Ahorita pueden escoger la 4, la 1 y la 2. Bien, Marian. Mm, 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 cuatro, tres, a tres. 
a la sala 4. Vaya, la segunda sería el papel se puede contar, así que how many how many paper does a printer need? Uh -huh. How many? Uh -huh. Esto sí creo que es how many. De ahí. Yeah. How, how many? To... How many hours? Ah, las horas también. How many hours? El número tres. Quiero ver si trata de How much shower? How much? How many? Hello, teacher. Hello, did you finish? Finish? Yes. Okay. Yes. Then let's go back to the main room. Okay. Okay, teacher. Sure. Okay, people, so now, everybody, everybody, please participate and help me here, okay? So what is the answer to the number one sentence or statement? How much? Can you read it completely? How much many is in a bank? Okay, great. How much money is in a bank? Okay, very good. Number two. How many paper does a printer need? Mm, let's see, how many or how much? Cuando usamos how many y cuando usamos how much? How many for countable? How much for uncountable? Entonces, asegurémonos. Paper, that subject or noun. 
Is it countable or is it uncountable or non-count? ¿Cómo lo miran ustedes? Can you count the paper? Or can't you? Countable. Why is it countable? A ver, How alguien much? dígame por qué sí es contable y por qué no es contable. A ver. No, teacher. Nunca, uh, nunca he visto no. a alguien contando papel para la computadora. No, oh, teacher. <laughs> ok, uh, va, miren, el concepto... Yo sí lo he visto, yo sí lo he visto. No, oh, bueno. Sí he visto. I, I do, teacher. <laughs> una resma le mete de una sola vez. <laughs> a rim. Ok, va, miren, la cuestión es así, el papel, 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 the noun paper is uncountable, uncountable. Oh. You cannot count paper. You cannot count paper. You can count pieces of papers or pages of papers, okay? You can count that, but you cannot count the paper, okay? Oh. En español hasta decimos un papelito, decimos dos papelitos, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero en English we can say that in this case, okay? Yeah? So it is how much paper? How much paper? Okay. There you go. Okay. So. Ahora, si queramos how many, uh, dijéramos eh, pages of paper, ¿verdad? Páginas de papel bone, of bone paper, or copy paper, right? Okay? Number three. How many? Oh. How many? How many hours a day does, does he work? Does, does, does he work? Okay. Work. How many hours? Hours is countable now. Okay. Yeah. So how many hours? How many hours a day do you or does he work in this case? Number four. How much? How, how much, much information how much is information on the internet? Is on the internet. Okay, yes, because information is uncount or non-count. Number five. How, how many? How many days, days a week do you rest? A week do you rest? Excellent. Number six. How many? How many? How many? Yes, you can count the, the people, right? You can count the employees. So, yes. How many? many. Employees does your company have? Okay, very good. So, now we know how to use how much and how many. How much for countable nouns and uh, uncountable nouns and how many for the countable nouns. Okay, how much and how many. And uh, let's go back in our manuals before of going to the activity number five. Let's go back in our manuals to uh, see something about Dominique. Do you remember Dominique? Yes. Recuerdan de Dominique? Entonces, vamos a irnos a la parte donde está eh, una conversacioncita acerca de Dominique. Okay? Está, H scroll up. Scroll up. Right. Scroll up. I don't remember the number in this moment. Okay, so let me go over there. Page 14. Fifteen? No. It's page eleven. Page eleven. Page page. Page eleven? Yes. Page eleven. A ver, vamos a recordar un poquito la tercera persona. Oh. Okay. Vamos a hacer el review ahora, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a ir un poquito a eso. Yeah. Y vamos a ver su rutina o las actividades que ella hace. ¿Ok? Ahí tenemos una pequeña conversación. Sí. Okay, here it is. Okay. 
So, Sonia and Matt are talking and they say, what does Dominique do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hard working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she's the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, vamos a ver. Les voy a dar 30 segunditos para que lean la conversación y si tienen alguna pregunta me dicen. Page 11. Okay, is there any question about the vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Uh, hard working. Hard working. Hard working. Una mujer buena para trabajar. Trabajadora. Okay. Yeah, trabajadora. Incansable para trabajar. Arrecha, arrecha. Arrecha, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hard Gracias. working woman. Mm -hmm. Hard working. Okay, now let's listen to. Uh, tell me. Disculpe, ¿cómo se dice? Ay, disculpe. Absolute, absolutely. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Absolutely. 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 Ok, vamos a ver entonces. Escuchemos a uh, Ulises y Katherine. Katherine Santos. ¿Quién soy yo? Sí, que Katherine sea eh, Sonia. Sonia, ok. Ok. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, see, you're fine. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she already hear me? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Great, thank you very much. Ahora, veamos en esta conversación cosas que ya sabemos. A ver, preguntas en tercera persona utilizamos does, ok? What does, miren, Dominic, sería she, ¿verdad? What does Dominic do? Esta pregunta es exactamente la misma como cuando le... A ver. Interference, teacher. Yes. Ok, uh, esta pregunta es la misma cuando le preguntamos a alguien acerca de su ocupación o su profesión. What do you do? Okay. What do you do? Eso sería en la eh, pregunta directa, ¿verdad? Uh, y la respuesta es esto. I am a secretary. I am an engineer. Entonces, de la misma manera acá, solo que en tercera persona. Vamos a ver. What does Dominique do? Well, she is a secretary. Okay. She is a secretary. Veamos la siguiente pregunta. What does she do every day exactly? Ah, en este caso, Sonia lo que quería saber, ¿qué era? Las actividades diarias. Entonces, esta misma pregunta es para 
a qué te dedicas y también para qué haces, ¿verdad? O qué hace ella o qué hace él. Entonces usamos esta palabra, exactly, exactly. What does she do every day exactly? What does she do every day exactly? Aquí ya lo ubica en las actividades. Let's see the activities. She types reports and sends emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. Letter S, miren, letter S. At the end, because it's third person, okay? Veamos esta última pregunta. Uh -huh. Does she arrive early? Does she arrive early? Esta es una pregunta directa que usted va a contestar sí o no. Okay? En, en español solo decimos sí, no. Pero en inglés tenemos que decirlo con el auxiliar, porque si no, no dice nada. Ok, entonces en este caso, si yo pregunto, does she arrive early? En un lenguaje formal, yo diría, yes, she does. Ok, lo voy a poner por acá para hacerlo notar. Ok, like this. En un lenguaje formal. Pero en este caso, Matt le contesta, yeah, pero este yeah lo está utilizando como para remarcar, remarcarlo, ¿verdad? Y decir, ja, viera vos, ¿ok? Como ese, yeah, ja, viera, si es la primera que llega a la oficina, ¿verdad? Entonces, es lo mismo acá. En un lenguaje fácil y formal sería, yes, she does, ¿ok? Aquí a él está haciendo un énfasis de cultura. Yeah, she's the first person to arrive in the office. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Yes, teacher. Ok, vámonos entonces un poquito más abajo. Let's scroll down. Déjenme borrar porque estoy con eso ahí. Ok, let's scroll down. Ok, esta página ustedes pueden estudiarla para que vean lo que les he estado remarcando. Cuando ustedes quieran decir algo o contestar a una pregunta, armen la oración. Armen una oración. ¿Cómo? With a subject. A verb and a complement. Ok. A subject, a verb and a complement. For plural, we use the verb in the base form, check, go, like. But for singular, we add letter S. Checks, goes is an irregular verb, so we add ES, right? Likes, right? We add letter S. For questions, Ahí le cambiamos el orden, ¿verdad? Pasamos, agregamos el auxiliar. Das. Yes, does. Uh -huh. Does he check reports? Does she check reports? Do we check reports? Ok. En este caso, como en preguntas ya tenemos el auxiliar does, no le vamos a agregar letra S al verbo en la tercera persona. Tengamos eso en cuenta. Ok. Entonces usamos el presente simple. We use the simple present to talk about daily routines or activities and scheduled events or time ta tables. Okay, so let's complete the paragraph with the words in the box. And let's make sure, let's make sure to write them in the correct form. Okay, bye. Hagamos este ahorita todos juntos acá. It says, complete the paragraph with the words in the box. Make sure to write them in the correct form. I go, que, que se repite tres veces. You, you have go three times in the paragraph. Okay. Hmm. Uh, from Monday to Friday, Dominic wake up at 5 a.m. Okay, wake or wakes? 
Wakes. Wakes up. Okay, yes. Great. Wakes up. Mm -hmm. And she go to goes. She goes. She goes. 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 Okay. Go. Mm -hmm. Go. Mm -hmm. And then she get there. She, she, she checks. Her email. She checks her email. She checks. Her email. And goes. Goes. Called declines. Gold in her daily list is with her. Is her daily list with her? Listening how they work. Listening Claudia works. Listening Claudia works with them. They go to hope. To have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Works or work? Work. 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 Works. Why? They go. They have to go. 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 They go to go have. Go have. Go they they go have to go. Ah, see, they, they have to go. They have to go. They have to go. Long. No, the first the first they form was okay. They go, they go, they go, go to have, mm -hmm. to, have. have go to have lunch together. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Lunch have lunch. Mm -hmm. Dominic goes. Dominic goes. Okay, at 4 p.m., Dominique goes home, okay? So there we are. This is a routine or maybe a daily routine, okay? She does every day the same things consecutively, okay? okay. So she has some activities, she has um, also uh, to express this a certain time and a specific time or a, a frame of time, okay? A frame of time, un periodo de tiempo, una ventana de tiempo, ¿verdad? Puede ser hora exacta, puede ser, no puede ser que no sea una hora exacta. Bien, esto ya lo recordamos ahorita. Si ¿Sí se recuerdan, ¿verdad? Tercera persona, letra S al verbo. Miren, los irregulares cambian su forma como goes. El verbo en plural sería go, ¿ok? O el, la forma base. Have es el plural o el infinitivo o la forma base. Y si fuera que solo ella tiene el almuerzo, entonces she has lunch, has. Okay, let's continue here. Oh. Alguien preguntó algo? Can you repeat that? Okay. Luego, vamos a ir allí en esta uh, actividad que sigue en donde estábamos near the near Page 17 it was. Page 17. Let me get there. Ahí tenemos una pequeña actividad. Okay? Write a six-line paragraph about the events and activities you and one co-worker do in your company. Okay. Creo que la vamos a hacer aquí juntos. Okay? El ejemplo, por lo menos, para que después nos vayamos a platicar y hacemos ese listadito de cosas, ¿ok? Let me share the screen. Here we go. 
write a six line paragraph about the events and activities you and one co coworker do in your company. Okay, vamos a hacer un ejemplo pequeño, okay? For example. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, how, how do you say co-worker? Co-worker? Co en español. Compañero de trabajo. Oh, thanks, mm -hmm. Okay. For example, I'm going to say, I mm, get to work every day at 8 a.m. Ok. A ver, ¿tienen compañeros de trabajo que entren más tarde que ustedes? Yes. Yes. Ok, can you tell me a name? El nombre de algún compañero de ustedes que entre más tarde que ustedes. What time? What time does he or she arrive work? Pablo. Carlos, uh-huh. Ten, ten at eight a.m. Gets to work at ten a.m. Okay, there you go. Okay, esto es lo que vamos a ir haciendo, okay? Okay. Creo que lo terminamos acá. Hagamos otra oración similar. Vamos a hacer como compuesto, ¿verdad? What I do and what a coworker does. Okay? So let's start here. Treinta segundos para pensar y me lo dicen. A ver. I have lunch at 12, no, 20. Sí, va. 12 eh, en D sería mediodía, eh, med, mid, no sé cómo se dice. Midday, midday, ajá, pero eh, podríamos decir en vez de at 12, podemos decir at noon. Mm, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. At noon, ok. Uh -huh. I have lunch at noon y ahí no decimos end y la otra persona no. Puede decir end. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. And, and Jesse, mm -hmm. uh, 1 p.m. At has, 1 p.m. Has, has lunch. lunch. Has lunch at 1 p.m. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Alma. Another example? Isidro. I drink coffee. At, at 3 p.m. Okay. What about your co-worker? And Giovanni. At 3 p.m. too. <laughs> okay. Then we can say Giovanni and I, right? Giovanni and I drink coffee at 3 p.m. Very good. Okay. There you go. Correct. Giovanni and I drink coffee at 3 p.m. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. I start to work at eight. I start to work at eight. I am. Mm -hmm. um, Wendy start to work at night. Night. 
p.m. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Juan Francisco, tell me. Uh, I have a snack at 9 p.m. and Angel is uh, not at 10 a.m. Okay. I have a snack at 3 p.m., right? Okay, night, night, night p.m. I'm sorry, I can get that. I can get that. Can you repeat it? Is it nine? Nine. Like this? No. Nine. Yeah. AM? And Angel? And Angel is not at 10 AM. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Juan. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I see three more people raising your hands, raising their hands. Okay, Karina, tell me, and then Herman, okay? First Karina and their, then Herman. Tell me, Karina. I finish report at 9 a.m. Okay. And Juan finishes at 11 a.m. I didn't get the time. I finish. I, I finish report at 9 a.m. Nine. Okay. Night. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And Juan finishes mm -hmm. at 11 a.m. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, Herman. Okay, uh, Arnoldo and I usually go to the work at the Starbucks once a day per month in the afternoon. A ver, Arnoldo and I, and right? I, and I. Mm -hmm. Usually go to work. To work at Starbucks once day. One one day. Oh, day. one day. One day. Per month. Per month. Okay. Per month. Per month. Very Maybe good. Month. Very good, excellent. Per month in the afternoon. Okay, there you are. Is there any question so far? Is there any question so far? Hay alguna pregunta hasta este momento? No, there isn't any question, teacher. Okay, there you go. Let me stop sharing this. Pero normalmente nosotros en las rutinas decimos cosas que siempre hacemos, ¿verdad? Pero también en la rutina hay cosas que no hacemos, ¿verdad? Siempre en nuestra rutina hay cosas que otros sí hacen y que nosotros no hacemos. Para eso utilizamos una oración negativa, ¿ok? Vamos a ver acá. Vamos a transformar estas oraciones en negativas. Ok. 
Okay. Here we go. Ok, vamos a ver. Transformemos estas oraciones. Let's transform these sentences into negative. The first one. Mario likes working on Saturdays. ¿Cómo sería negativa? Acordémonos que para el negativo utilizamos don't para los plurales y doesn't para la tercera persona. Remember? Yes. Mario, Mario doesn't. Hmm? Mario doesn't like working on Saturday. Me too. <laughs> okay, Mario doesn't like mm -hmm. working, on working on Saturday. Saturday. Very good. Nor Alma either, right? Okay, there you go. My colleague, oh, I'm sorry, my colleagues eat lunch together. My colleagues eat lunch together. My colleagues don't my, eat lunch together. Okay, yes, because it's plural, right? Because this is plural, then we use don't. Okay, what about Julio and Pedro? Julio and Pedro, Pedro don't, don't, don't organize the weekly, weekly meeting. Okay, there you go. What about my the si other one? My, my sister, sister doesn't have a car. Sister doesn't have a car. Sister car. doesn't have a car. Doesn't have a car. Okay. Doesn't have. Esto es muy importante que recordemos. Como ya tenemos el auxiliar, el verbo va a ir en forma base. Ok. There in the base form. Ok. There you go. What about the last one? My father and my brother. And my brother. My father and my brother. Don't play. Don't play soccer play every Sunday. Every Sunday. My father and my brother don't play soccer every Sunday. Don't play. <laughs> don't play. Every Sunday. Okay, there you go. Don't because it's they, right? We're talking about two people here, my father and my brother, together is they. Okay then, is there any question about this exercise? No. Oh, there is no question, teacher. Ok, solo quiero hacerles un comentario pequeñito. Según mi observación, ok. Escucha interferencia. Observación... ¿Perdón? Se escucha interferencia. Ok. There you go. Según mi observación, los veo en su zona de confort cuando tenemos que escribir. Cuando tenemos que hacer ejercicios de escritura, ahí los veo en su zona de confort, tranquilos, armando, haciendo, y les gusta, y eso es bueno. Ahora, 
sería mucho mejor que nos saliéramos un poquito de la zona de confort y comencemos a armar esas oraciones que hacemos escritas, las armemos mentalmente y las digamos. Eso se trata de hablar, ¿ok? Hablar. Cuando yo les hago una pregunta, ustedes arman la oración mentalmente, un sujeto, un verbo, un complemento, y lo dicen, ¿ok? Así que eh, los animo. Los animo a que comencemos a hablar, ¿ok? Comencemos a hablar cada vez que eh, hay una pregunta, hay que aprovechar a hablar, ¿ok? Bien, ese fue nada más un comentario, ¿ya? Ahora, veamos esta. Solo tenemos unos pocos minutos, déjenme borrar todos los wiggles here. Ok, vamos a hacer una cosa, ¿ok? A ver, tomemos ejemplo de las actividades que están aquí. Wake up early every day, get up at 4 a.m., prepare breakfast, milk and cereal. <laughs> yeah, because if you don't prepare eggs and bacon and beans, you know, you can just prepare milk and cereal and it's also prepare, okay? It's only prepare. A ver, vamos a ver. Tomemos ejemplo de estas actividades que tenemos acá en la lista, ¿ok? Pónganle atención, a ver, pónganle atención. Uh -huh. Bien, nos vamos a ir, dejar de verlas, ¿ok? Y nos vamos a ir a galería y solo nos vamos a ver nosotros nuestras caritas, ¿ok? Y, por ejemplo, yo voy a comenzar diciendo, I wake up early every day, y voy a decir el nombre de alguno de ustedes, doesn't wake up early every day. ¿Ok? Al que yo mencioné, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos el ejemplo que si yo dijera Kelly, ¿verdad? I wake up early every day. Kelly doesn't wake up early every day. Viene Kelly y dice, I wake up early every day and get up, au, aumenta una actividad, ¿ok? Y luego escoge a otra persona y dice lo que no hace la otra persona. Por ejemplo, podría decir acá, doesn't, oh, perdón. <ríe> Pongamos, uh, doesn't have breakfast. The breakfast. Ok. Son dos las que vamos a aumentar. Ok. Entonces, no viene comer, Wendy. Señor. Ok. Viene Wendy y tiene que no decir, toma, I have breakfast and I wake up early every day and I get up at 4 a.m. Y decimos otra persona, like, for example, Henry. Ok. Henry doesn't uh, go to get to work on time. ¿Ok? ¿Se entendió lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Se entendió? Esos solo eran ejemplos de actividades diarias. ¿Ok? Daily activities. ¿Sí se entendió lo que vamos a hacer? En cadena lo vamos a hacer. Sí, sí. Yes, sí. Yes. Yes, sí, sí. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Let's, uh, ¿Alguien quiere empezar o empiezo yo? <laughs> okay, I wake up early every day. Henry doesn't wake up early every day. Hey, Henry. <laughs> oh, Henry Alberto, bye. Henry Alberto. La salvada, vea, uh, decía, entre la salvada. Ok, go ahead, Alberto. Ok. Eh, I, wake, I wake up early every day eh, at 4 a.m. It's really. Oh. And get up, Kirill. Eh, and, get, and get up drive eh, to my work. And you drive to your work. Ok, yes. drive to work. Uh -huh. Henry, una, escoja un compañero y una actividad que usted cree que no hace o le pone ahí usted que no hace, como poniendo el dedo. Eh, Isidro, Isidro, don't, 
Don't write a sales report. Awesome. Yes, I, I, I send report and I prepare, I prepare documents in, in the office, but Herman don't prepare, does, doesn't prepare documents. <laughs> uh -huh. It's true. Oh no, come on. Uh, I prepare document uh, in, in my job. Uh, Arnoldo don't hold time. Doesn't. But, pero ahí me están haciendo doesn't. trampa. Ahí. Me están haciendo trampa. Ok. Ustedes le aumentan una actividad que ustedes hacen. Ok. Y dicen que fulanito no hace otra actividad. Ok. Vamos. Vamos, vamos, Repeat. vamos. Repeat. Just... Ok. I, I prepare document in my, in my job. Eh, and I I'll call time. Another doesn't talk to him. Casi no le entendí. Mucho de que porque casi me cuesta un poco escuchar por, lo, por la lluvia. Pero acá era que yo tenía que decir una actividad más lo que no hago. Vale, la cuestión, eh, va, ahí se nos corta un poquito. La cuestión es que usted tiene que decir que usted sí hace lo que Germán dijo que usted no hace. ¿Ok? Y le agrega una actividad que usted sí hace. Luego escoge a otra persona y dice que esa persona no hace otra actividad. que usted quiera decir? Solo que... No sé si me podría repetir un poco más fuerte, Germán, porque si casi no le okay. escucho. Ok. Uh, I prepare document and I call client. Uh, Arnoldo doesn't call client. I prepare document y ella no le entendí mucho a ti. Call clients. Do you call, call clients? Do you call clients? You, you. Do you call clients? You? Client? I don't or I call I clients. I don't. I call clients. Ok. Vamos a cambiar un poquito la actividad. ¿Sí? Vamos a cambiar, ya casi tenemos unos dos minutos para hacer la actividad. Bien, vamos a decir todo. Una, eh, no, digamos tres actividades que hacemos en la mañana. Ok, three activities that you do in the morning. What do you do every morning? Ok, Aníbal, please start. What do you do in the morning? Uh, I wake up uh, early every day. Uh, um, get up and four and eight p.m. Oh, uh, uh, prepare and breakfast. Uh, uh, yeah, see, see, so only, only. <laughs> no, only. Aníbal, hey, come on, don't do that. Okay, eight p.m. is not in the morning. Okay, eight a.m. a.m. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Sorry. Okay, sorry. there you go. Carmen, hey, please. Um... What do you do every morning? <laughs> I get up at uh, 6 p.m. and take a shower, prepare my breakfast, and uh, and... <laughs> I go to work. I go to I work. Go, go to work. Okay, yeah. great. Thank you very much, Carmen. Alma, what do you do every morning? Okay, I wake, I get up at 
uh, 5 a.m. and I prepare breakfast with um, for my family and I get to the work at, uh, uh, I get to work at a 8 a.m. Okay, thank you very much. Marianne, what do you do every morning? I get up early every day. I take uh, the bus. I get to work on time. Okay, great, great. Let's see. Ahora vamos a decir tres cosas que no hacemos, okay? Things that we don't do every morning. Isidro, three things that you don't do every morning or in the mornings. I don't prepare a breakfast and I don't call co-workers in the morning. I don't um, I don't um, go to the shopping in the morning. Okay, I don't go shopping. I don't, I don't go, go shopping. shopping. Okay, great. Now, let's see. Jose Arnoldo, three things that you don't do in the mornings. Uh, I don't cook for breakfast. I don't like to read a lot. Okay. One more. ¿Cómo sería? No, I not levantarse temprano. I don't get up early. I don't get up. Very lucky man. <laughs> yeah, I think you want his job, right? <laughs> okay. Ulysses, tell me three things that you don't do in the morning. I don't read a book. I don't walk to my work. I don't play video games. Great, great. Guys, do you take a shower every morning? Yes. Hey, yes. Okay, yes, you do. Very good. <laughs> okay. Um, do you have breakfast at home every morning? Yeah. No. No. No? Yes. Do you work. where do you have breakfast? At work. At, at, at work in the office. In, in the, the office. office. Okay, very good. So now, uh, guys, um, do you read your socials before going work? Yes, do you no. read this, your social networks? Are you I always mean, no. connected? In the workplace. In the workplace, okay. Do you check your emails? Mm. Do you Every check day. Facebook before work? No, do you no. see YouTube no. videos no, I don't. before work? No, I don't check. Yes. No. Do you send text messages before work? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, very good. No. Very good. Okay, guys, this is the way this is the way that we are going to improve our English. Okay. The way speaking and listening, listening to everyone and listening to your teacher and being corrected. Okay, because you don't have to be afraid of making mistakes. You don't have to be afraid of making mistakes. Okay, so I want to listen to you speaking and you want to hear what your teacher says, right? Okay, guys, so let me call the roll and we are going to finish the review from today okay ahora hemos revisado prácticamente todos los temas en 
un ejercicio prácticamente por cada tema. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. He posteado dos discusiones. ¿Ya se fueron a revisarlas en la plataforma? Sí, yes, señor. La primera era que este, ustedes respondieran unas preguntas según su propia información. Era eh, financial information and also work hurts. Okay. For example, how many days a week do you work? Okay. So, um, and the other one, what was the other one, guys? Oh. It was watching a video, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. Teach, este, teacher. Mm -hmm. eh, la actividad era, este, pregunta, how, do, how, how many days do you work in week? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, next, uh, how many hour, hours do you work a day? Mm -hmm. uh, how much do you do you make per hour? Per hour. Yes. Uh, how per many hour. days off do you have? Um, uh, only teach. Uh, uh, do you work on the weekends? Uh, yes. But and esas son esas es la, las que pregunta. Esa es la segunda. Uh -huh. eh, de ahí, pues esas eh, y las otras dos que son eh, videos que pide que veamos. Y what do you do every day? Okay, esa esa sí. sí. Esa es la única. Luego tenemos Eche. otro que es mandatory perks in El Salvador. So you have to go to mandatory read an article perks. and you have to list the work perks that you receive in your jobs. Okay. Yeah. Van a ir a leer ese artículo y en ese artículo ustedes van a ver, ah, esto sí me dan, ah, no, esto no recibo yo de mi trabajo, ¿ok? Work perks, benefits, ¿ok? Así que ahí están posteadas las tres para que ustedes en su tiempo libre practiquen, ¿sí? Ok. 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 Remember to do your homework and let me call the roll again. Calma, Verónica, tell me. Go ahead. Eh, eh. For this day, uh, finish five activities. So how many? How yes, many? to number five, up to number five. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, el día de hoy le toca la sesión uno a uno a Isidro, okay? Bien, Alma Verónica Castro de Serrano. Present. Aníbal Osmaro Hernández Murcia. Present, teacher. Eh, Georgina Beatriz Aldaña de Guzmán. Present teacher. Herman Enrique González Valeriano. Present teacher. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Isidro Ernesto Acosta Maldonado. Present teacher. Here I am. Okay, there you go. José Arnoldo Sánchez Lemos. Present teacher. José Ulises Anaya Cortés. Present. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Present teacher. Karina Elizabeth Hernández Gómez. Present teacher. Katherine Stephanie Santos Granados. Present teacher. Kelly Maricela Díaz Lozano. Present. Manuel Edilberto García Meléndez. Present. Mariana Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Present teacher. Rebeca Claribel Bonilla Escobar. Present teacher. Wendy Lisette Gómez García. Present teacher. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. Jensi Dinora Canales Reyes. Present. Carmen Inés Montes de Fermán. Present. Lady Olivet Cruz Guzmán. Henry Vladimir Ramirez Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, there we go, guys. So, uh, Isidro, si se va a quedar? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me, Rolando. A mí no me preguntó. Oh, all right, let me check. Okay. 
Rolando José Romero Castro. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Gracias. And I apologize. Thanks. Okay. There we go. Okay, people. So uh, see you tomorrow and have a very good night. Good night, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 See you. Bye, teacher. See you. Like this, right? Bye, bye. <laughs> bye, Lises. Okay, Isidro, is there any question about the topics in the class? You're muted. It's very good, the class is teacher. And, and the only one thing I, I have this night is, is, is have a practice. A, a practice uh, the unit one unit two have a conversation with you oh okay go ahead mm -hmm. tell me what do you want to talk about do you have a topic to talk uh, the units okay uh, about the I unit think. one okay the unit one uh, so you want to practice a conversation yes yes Okay, do you want to practice one of the manual or do you want to practice one of my own? ¿Quiere practicar uno del manual o le presento la otra una que ya habíamos practicado antes también, pero como para recordarla? Yes, teacher. Okay. The unit one, unit two. Okay. And the outburst of the outburst. O que las practiquemos, dice usted, todas las conversaciones. No le, no le comprendí ahora. ¿Quiere que nos Anyone? pasemos a la unidad 2? Ah. <laughs> yeah, because you yeah, told me frequency adverbs. Por ejemplo, what do you do? Ah, ok. And what's your phone number? Where do you live? Where do you live? And where do you work? Ok. Uh, ok. So let's practice this one. Let's practice this one. Yes. And could you tell me any questions? Oh, so you want some questions. Ah, okay. Okay. Now I understand. Now I understand. Yo lo que le iba a presentar era una conversación y practicamos la conversación y si quiere la comentamos. Okay. okay Bye. Yes. Vamos a ver entonces. Let me share the screen here. Here it is. Okay, no sé si se recuerda de esta. Do you remember this one? Um, yes, teacher. Está bien que practiquemos esta. Esta es solo la mitad. Luego la otra mitad, ok? Uh, yes, yes, teacher. Ok, Isidro. I'm going to be Abigail Watson and you are going to be Ernest Bellevue, ok? Hello, I'm Abigail Watson. What's your name? Hi, I'm Ernst Bilbiu. Nice to meet you, Abigail. Nice to meet you too, Ernest. I'm sorry, what's your last name again? It's Bilbiu. Is it B-E-L-B-U-E? -E? No, it's B-E-R-L. I E double. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Are you the new truck driver? Yes, I am. What do you do? I'm the logistics manager secretary. I schedule the deliveries and send a report by email to the 25 truck drivers. I organize the meetings and trainings. I also call clients every Friday to set the details for the weekly shipment they usually order. I invoice the delivery charge. It depends on the distance. It is about $200. Okay. 
Abigail, when do you send the deliveries scheduled to the driver? Well, I send the emails with the delivery schedule every Monday morning. When do you write the delivery report? I don't write the delivery report. The driver writes the report. When does the driver send the report? The driver doesn't send the report. The driver gives me the physical report at the office when finishes the daily deliveries. Okay, thank you for the information, Abigail. Okay, Ernest, have a nice day. See you tomorrow early in the morning. Okay, do you want to switch roles? Cambiamos los roles? Okay, teacher. Now you are Abigail Watson, okay? Start. Okay. Uh, teacher, could, could you correct me correctly when I pronounce wrong? Okay. Um, hello, I'm Abigail Watson. What's your name? Hi, I'm Ernest Bellevue. Nice to meet you, Abigail. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Ernest. I'm sorry, what's your na last name again? It's Bellevue. Is it B-E-L-B-U-E? No, it's B-E-L-L-V-I-E-W. Thank you. Are you the new truck driver? Yes, I am. What do you do? I am the logistics manager's secretary. I schedule the deliveries and send report by email to the 25 truck drivers. I organize the meetings and training. I also call clients every Friday to set the details. The for details. The weekly the details. The details for the weekly shipment they are they usually order. I invoice the delivery charge. It depends on the distance. It is about two hundred dollars. Okay, delivery, delivery the, charge, delivery the, charge. The delivery charge. Okay. There you go, let's continue here. Now it's mine, right? Yes. No, no this is yours. No, mine. Abigail, when do you send the delivery schedule to the drivers? Well, I send the emails with the deliveries scheduled every Monday morning. When do you write the delivery report? I don't write the delivery delivery report. delivery delivery report. The driver writes the report. When does the driver send the report? The driver doesn't send the report. The driver gives me the physical report at the office when finishes the daily deliveries. Deliveries. Okay, there you are. Is there any question about this conversation? No, there is in the chair. Okay. Uh, deliveries. Está ahí con, yeah, es? it's the Lee varies. The Lee tiene que ser la fuerza de voz. Delivery. Mm -hmm. Delivery. Yes, delivery. 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 Mm -hmm. Another one. Is, mm -hmm. Lo han pronunciado muy bien, lo ha pronunciado muy bien. Mi consejo o mi tip, digamos, es que pronuncie las finalizaciones de las palabras. Porque, por ejemplo, la letra S, ¿verdad? Que nos comemos. O, por ejemplo, eh, la letra N o la letra M al final. Por ejemplo, aquí, I'm, I'm sorry. ¿Verdad? I'm Esto, sorry. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Porque normalmente tendemos a decirlo ang, pero es I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. 
Uh -huh. Y por ejemplo, en palabras como send, send, hay una D al final, pero normalmente en la forma de ir diciéndolo rápido, tenemos que pronunciar la N más que la D, ¿verdad? Encenda, encenda, report, encenda, pero tiene que estar, el send, mm, mm, tiene que sonar, ¿verdad? A ver, la otra, shipment, shipment, ¿verdad? Shipment, hay una T que nos dificulta un poquito para poder entrar a la otra palabra, ¿verdad? Uh, the weekly shipment they usually order, ¿ok? Shipment, hay que abrir la boca. Shipment they. Shipment they usually order. Shipment they usually order. Ah, la, exactly. Las últimas letras no. Tiende uno a no pronunciar la última. Exactly. Y hay que pronunciarlas. Por ejemplo, I'm the logistics manager's secretary. Pero como aquí tenemos una S y otra letra S uniendo, podría sonar así. Logistics Manager Secretary. Ok. Logistics Manager Secretary. Aquí unimos estas dos letras S, pero aquí sí la pronunciamos. Ok. Logistics Manager Secretary. Manager Secretary. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. A ver, en las otras, eh, no le. Ah, name. Name es una palabra que a todos nos cuesta un poquito los salvadoreños porque decimos name y es name con cerrar esa letra M. Name. Uh -huh. name. name. Oh, okay. name. Uh -huh. okay, teacher. Okay. That's all. Okay. That's all, teacher. Okay. There you are. Then. Okay, I appreciate you wanted to practice. Yeah, because usually people say, no, I don't want to stay because, you know, I don't have any question, but then you can practice, right? Thank you very much for staying, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay, have Thank a very good night, time, Isidro. Teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, bye. Goodbye.